Good day, I'm Stephen McHugh and this is your JIS News for Wednesday, June 23. Government has finalized plans to make certain state-owned venues available rent-free for the staging of large entertainment events. It's part of efforts to stimulate the reopening of the entertainment sector, planned for July 1 to August 10. The venues are operated by the Ministry of Culture and the Port Authority of Jamaica. In Parliament Tuesday, Prime Minister Andrew Holness said that with the normal rental cost waived, promoters would be responsible for operating costs, including utilities and security. Promoters of large events, with over 100 persons expected, will be required to make an application to the Ministry of Culture. The Ministry will review the application in consultation with ODPEM, the Ministry of Health, Municipal Corporation, the Police and other relevant authorities. Persons staging small events with no more than 100 persons in total will benefit from a 50% reduction in permit costs from the municipal corporations. Prime Minister Holness says the ministries of culture, economic growth and finance will also be exploring other stimulus to realize growth and development in the sector. The entertainment, culture and creative industries represent a key part of our competitive advantage and are vital to our economic recovery and long-term growth prospects. The industry has the potential to emerge from this crisis stronger and better than before. And as part of efforts to kick off the reopening of the sector, government will stage a concert on July 1 at the Port Royal Cruise Pier in commemoration of International Reggae Day. In the meantime, Prime Minister Andrew Holness unveiled updated COVID-19 containment measures yesterday, which will remain in place between July 1 and August 11. Curfew hours have been amended to 11 p.m. Mondays to Saturdays and 6 p.m. on Sundays. Amusement arcades are to reopen on July 1. Funerals will now be allowed with a maximum of 30 persons, including mourners and members of the clergy. The attendance limit at burial services has now moved from 15 to 30 persons, with service times being extended by an hour. Measures under the controlled re-entry program remain largely unchanged. These include presenting a negative PCR test, as well as the continued travel ban on certain countries. The stay-at-home and work-from-home orders in the public sector remain in place. So too have the protocols regarding the opening of markets, gyms, parks, bars, beaches, rivers, zoos, water parks and attractions. Starting June 24, the state will modify the existing order on places of worship and cinemas. These venues will now be allowed to host 70% of their maximum capacity. In the case of drive-in cinemas, vehicles should carry no more than the number they are registered to transport. It has now been 15 months since the pandemic began. We have a lot more information on how the virus spreads and the protocols that are effective in reducing spread. Let us therefore not view the new measures as free for all. Let us commit to being responsible and diligent Registered fishermen across the island now have insurance in place to secure their vessels and accessories. The Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries has partnered with Advantage General to introduce the safety net insurance package. With payments as low as $45,000 a year, protection is offered for accidental loss or damage to fishing vessels and accessories by fire, malicious acts, theft and natural disasters while onshore or offshore in Jamaican waters. The general insurance package was launched at the ministry's Hope Gardens offices yesterday. Agriculture and Fisheries Minister Floyd Green lauded the partnership, saying it will help to provide a better sense of security for fisherfolk. It protects them against a wide array of perils. It protects them both at sea and on land. Even when they put their vessels to be repaired, there is a level of protection that is provided. And importantly, it is affordable. Additionally, Advantage General has crafted the AgriGen Pack, which allows for both registered fisherfolk and farmers to ensure either their homes or motor vehicles at a 10% discount. A 15% discount is being offered if they insure both at the same time. In other news, just three days into the zone of special operations Zoso in Norwood, St. James, and the police have seized three firearms and made several arrests. Police Commissioner Major General Anthony Anderson says this is a positive sign compared to the 14 days it took to find the first weapon in the first Zoso that was implemented in Mount Salem. Commissioner Anderson was speaking at a press briefing following a tour of the Norwood community yesterday. So we're ahead of that curve now. The more we use these tools, it's the better we get at it. And I think it will redound to the benefit of the people who live here. 
The police commissioner says the Zoso intervention is warranted due to a spike in murders and other criminal activities in the area. He asserts that Mount Salem is now seen as a model community due to the impact of the Zoso and says the same approach will be used in Norwood. And finally, Jamaica is set to host the United Nations World Tourism Organization, UNWTO, 66th Regional Commission of the Americas on Thursday. This will be the biggest international event of its kind the country will stage since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. Among the global leaders to visit the country this week for the blended staging of the event are Secretary General of the UNWTO and Saudi Arabia's Tourism Minister Ahmed al khatib In Parliament recently, Tourism Minister Edmund Bartlett said the visit would allow Jamaica and Saudi Arabia to foster greater collaboration. They see Jamaica as a successful tourism model. And he said to me, we want to copy some of what you did here in Jamaica in the development that we're having for Saudi Arabia. Among the agenda items is exploring areas of community tourism and cruise development, as well as sustainability and resilience. And that's it for JIS News Today. I'm Stephen McHugh. Thanks for watching.